Hi guys, Paul here from Peter News. As you can see, the beer's already open. I had a massive allergy attack, and it's probably still hitting me, and I'm very annoyed by that. Got a beer here from the Missing Wings Brewing Company, but this is a Butler County collaborations with Recon Reclamation, Recon Brewing Company, Butler Brewing Works, Missing Wings Brewing, Brewing Company, maybe even Shoe Brew. I'm not really sure, but I know a couple of those breweries are involved with this, so they did a massive barley wine. I think it's around 12% alcohol by volume, and it has a chestnut ruby heat, so that's nice, off-white to the head. Literally, as I sat down, I just went off the hook with allergies, and I have no idea why, <laughs> and it was really annoying. If I had to go get a tissue and stuff, I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> so anyway, up to light, chestnut ruby hue. A little bit of a floral spicy component. It definitely smells like it's more of an American uh, barley wine instead of a nice English savory barley wine. But you do get burnt caramel, sugars, a little fall leaf. Cheers. Yeah. You definitely get wafted with a lot of peppery, spicy hops. And it kind of <laughs> kind of attacks the palate and unfortunately doesn't give you that time to have that beautiful savory tone that I love out of a good barley wine. So, so it's definitely more along the lines of those like kind of arrogant bastard ale or that <clears throat> bold strong old ale but then swamped with fucking hops so you can't it doesn't know which, which way to go which, what, what am I trying to be here what am I am I supposed to be savory am I supposed to just be hoppy and abrasive I mean or is the end of the day is it's, it's a big ABV so it doesn't matter so where, where are we supposed to be here so yeah definitely going with the American barley wine on this one which is not my favorite to be said doesn't drink hard and the ABV is well masked tastes like maybe it might be 8% somewhere there but I definitely know it's higher than that little burnt caramel sugars Brown, uh, brown bread tonalities, fall leaf tonalities is still, is still there too. Old brown sugar, burnt sugars. Not really getting too many pronounced fruit flavors. It's more just spicy, earthy, a little bit of floral kind of compound with the hops. Balancing off, trying to bounce, balance and bounce off those big savory malt characters. It's definitely easy drinking. I would, uh, it's probably not something I want to drink all the time or all night long, but it is a special release, so that's good. But for what it is, you know, I mean, you get, you, you would get acclimated pretty quickly to the fact that it's a big, hot, you know, hoppy, hoppy barley wine. But as I said, I prefer my barley wines very savory and sweet and those kind of tonalities that we you like reading a book, sipping a massive 15, 25% barley wine, yum, 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 that's been sitting in a cellar for 16 years. That's where I kind of go, you know, but it's still good for what it is. All right, for the collaboration of Butler County, as I said, it's an American barley wine. So over that, I've had many better American barley wine styles uh, that give you different aspects, more fruit flavors and stuff, kind of like, you know, those oranges and stuff. So it kind of gives you that kind of orange molasses or the, the, the kind of orange marmalade vibe you know everything's kind of blending very cohesive these are very polarizing in the way they're kind of approaching each other trying to balance the one over like overtake each other of course it's more hot forward but it's still good beer for what it is if you like american barley wines i would say it's definitely solid it was definitely a solid approachment for the style uh, but you know and it hides the abv amazingly well so instead of giving it the 7.5 i'm going to bump it up to an eight eight out of ten for the collaboration butler county collaboration big old barley wine 32 ounces of it too hey gotta love that but anyway i'm gonna die from allergies and i'm not happy about it so this has been paul from pay news cheers at least i can still taste and kind of smell which is weird bye, -bye.